This is just a small excerpt of the entire contact. Contact Report 432 Translation An important message for the listener of this document we, Dice and Divine and Vivian Legg of www.guyarguys.net have been given permission by Billy Meyer, www.figu.org to make these unofficial, preliminary translations of Figu material. Please be advised that our translations may contain errors. That is related to the fact that I personally observed the war zone in Lebanon today in respect of the ceasefire and have still occupied myself with various interrelated things regarding this which I could only finish a few minutes ago. It is unbelievably primitive, the destruction that was caused down there, especially through the Israelis, who have raged like the insane, who are no longer in command of their reason and understanding. Not even the Nazis have operated in these contexts of unbelievably destructive rage. Consequently, only the USA can be taken as an example, who, in the same measure, let their destructive rages of free reign in the Second World War at Hiroshima, Nagasaki and on diverse Japanese islands as well as in Germany and Dresden and Shui and Fut and so forth. Now, in spite of the ceasefire, there are still always small skirmishes in which mainly Hezbollah fighters are killed. Naturally, the Hezbollah terror organization also performs its part in the bloody and destructive events, yet their atrocities stand in no comparison to those which the Israeli army caused. And what is further regrettable is that neither the Hezbollah nor the Israeli army are disarmed, consequently, the terror will also continue in the future. The question actually arises, how long the earth humans will remain so stupid and simply minded before they pursue understanding and reason to the extent that they set the correct heads of state in the fitting positions and take the rudder in the hand themselves in order to create a multinational troop, fighting for peace, which disarms all parties to war and terror, in order, in this connection, to, in this way, lead a true and final peace on the earth and among all peoples. Naturally, very many things which also must be otherwise borne in mind, hang together with that. Yet, if the earthly humanity finally would have command of true reason and true understanding, then the entirety would be able to be implemented. As, however, is handled today with the UN and its ridiculous and useless deployment, that is truly nothing in regard to a pacification of the earth, respectively, to achieve for all peoples. Multinational peace troops in the sense of the UN correspond actually to an absurdity because, if the entire thing is effective and the longed for goal of a worldwide peace is to be achieved, then that is only possible through a multinational troop, fighting for peace, which acts in logical force and undertakes everything necessary for the disarming of the armies. Principally, in every case, a multinational troop, fighting for peace, may only exist on a planet under the strictest control of the world population whereby only this multinational army, fighting for peace, may have, at its disposal, fighting weapons for the entire security of the planet and its population. Further, I still have before me a reply to a reader, Tad, that I have received in English from Brazil. Helgo translated the whole thing into German for me. Thereafter Marianne and William corrected it and finished it off. It thereby deals with a matter in which it is asserted that there is only one extraterrestrial federation present on Earth named Star Nations, and you people with your pleasure and federation practically do not exist. Thereby naturally, I am attacked, whereby it is asserted that I have been maltreated through consciousness influencing machinations by a click and your messages are also not real. That sounds very familiar to me. Do you speak of a certain Richard Boylan with his insane Star Kids project? Precisely. Obviously you know his machinations? You have never told me anything about that. This man, with his delusional imaginings and his crazy and insane machinations, is very well known to me because, through our three-year clarifications, our attention has also been turned to him, along with many others who, in the same or similar ways, are damaged in their consciousness. Therefore we know very precisely which nonsense he, in a delusional state, 
imagines and asserts in regard to alleged contact with extraterrestrials that he has a connection with a counselor named Ashioma and with the administration of the so-called Zeta in the form of the star nations, who are the only ones who maintain contact on the Earth. The man, who one cannot quite judge as fully sane, supports himself, with his shady wheeling and dealing, on your contacts with us, consequently, he also rewrites the knowledge from the contact reports for himself and asserts that he receives the information from his alleged counselor Ashioma, who in truth only exists in his fantasy. But there are still many others on the earth like him. Aha! Uh -huh. That is precisely what is touched upon in the email I have received. What is also interesting about that is, since I have disseminated to the world, via the internet, your cognitions that there are no other extraterrestrials on Earth other than those who belong to your federation? This guy now suddenly comes and asserts on the internet that there is only one extraterrestrial federation in regard to extraterrestrials on Earth, and indeed the star nations. That is not astonishing, because I have already explained that he uses our contact reports that you publish and that he rewrites them and asserts that his scribble is reports and explanations which he receives from the Zetas. I understand already, but see here, I have that email in English and in German here. You can just read it and say to me whether I should integrate the whole thing that we have just spoken about into the special bulletin. From my side, I feel neither attacked through the nonsense, nor do I annoy myself over it. But I think that the humans of Earth should know what goes on in front of them in this area, and which lunatics go around the globe and tell nonsense. Let me see which nonsense is written. Here, please. Thanks. He then reads the text translated into German. This is the email from Boylan at theglobal.net to ufrafax at yahooagroups.com sent Wednesday the 2nd of August 2006 5.21 p.m. Subject, Ufrafacts, Authentic Star Nations Organization vs. Phony Federations. It may help to realize that my article on findings about the real star visitors vs. the boogeyman of cover-up propaganda was written several years ago before I was contacted in conscious communication by Councillor Ashioma, the Zeta, and Councillor for the Watchers. It was from them that I learned that the official name of the Federation of Star Civilizations who subscribe to the 11.11 laws and who are in contact with Earth is Star Nations. Back then, when I wrote the article, I knew that there was an interstellar federation, but not its official name. Now I know it is Star Nations. I have replaced my ad hoc designation with Star Nations in the current edition of my article. There is no other organization of intelligent civilizations in contact with Earth besides Star Nations. Thus, when you hear someone talk about an Ash to command, you know that this is make-believe, urban legend, and or the pretended channelings of eluded or overly self-important persons. Likewise, there is no Plagiarian slash Plagiarian slash Pleiadian Federation. Edward Albert Billy Meyer may have started out as a genuine experience who back in 1942, as he claims. But over the years his purported messages from the Plagiarian slash Plagiarian have clearly become distanced from the truth too often to be genuine star visitor messages. Further. I have been informed by the counselor for the Watchers that poor Mr. Meyer has been targeted by cabal mind influencing operations with the result that what he puts forth is a jumble, and cannot be trusted to represent genuine star visitor communications. In the light, Richard Boylan, Ph. Doctor. And? What do you think about it? Should I include it in the special bulletin? The whole thing corresponds to complete nonsense, and it is quite good if you publish this feebly-mindedness so that Earth humans can see clearly which charlatanism and which feebly-mindedness is driven and disseminated through this Richard Boylan. That is what I wanted to hear. Then I will still add the nonsense at the end of the special bulletin, naturally with the words that we too have spoken in this regard.